Okay, we're back in the valley. We're gonna work on our outfit for the upcoming Dream Snap photo challenge, which is the trick or treat outfit challenge. I've got something in the mailbox, and I just checked the mail yesterday because it was a refresh day. And also, I was on X earlier, and uh, mm. Disney Dreamlight Valley said, Psst, want a little something to pump up your valley's Halloween vibes? And then there's the pumpkin emojis, Halloween bundle, all caps. Enter this code in game and share your best pumpkin displays with us below. So I think it may be pumpkins that I already have, but we're going to go ahead and put that in. If you don't know how to do the codes, there's so many codes, you're really missing out if you haven't put your codes in yet. Go to the settings. Go to help, redemption code, and they're in all caps. And this one was Halloween bundle. Uh, oh no, one word. And the LED. And then claim it. Yay! And then it goes to your mailbox. So I'm gonna check both my mails at once. Okay, these are all things. No, wait. I don't think I have all these. Looking to add some more Halloween spirit to your valley? Have a gourd time using these free items to decorate. Scarecrow, I know I have. I don't think I have those pumpkins. Are they new? Cauldron I have. I actually used the cauldron in my bedroom beauty photo shot that I did for the Forgotten's room. Uh, so I know I have that one, but that is cool. So I'm going to claim those. And then something stuck in the mailbox. Red candy. Hey, Valley Villagers, On Hall our Halloween event is in full swing until October 31st. Unfortunately, a glitch has prevented red candy spawns. We like to express our gratitude for your patience as we clean up some night thorns in our servers. A token of our appreciation, we're sending you a bundle of red candy. Enjoy. Dang, 40 candy. This is good, 40 candy, because if you don't know what to do with it, I'm about to tell you right now. I'm sure uh, most people have been playing since the game came out, or at least for a while. Oh yeah, the pumpkins are new! Cute! I'm stuck. So if you haven't been playing the game for a long time, or you haven't really focused on any of these achievements, some you may have already just finished over normal time, but these are the Dreamlight Village uh, achievements. The sugar rush, that's where you eat 45 pieces of candy, literally 45 pieces of candy, and you achieve that. Then trick or treat, you probably have already gotten that one. It's giving 10 villagers, 10 different villagers gifts, just any gift. A three course Halloween meal, that's why they're saying sorry about the candy. For this three-course Halloween meal, you need the red candy because you need to eat one of each three pieces of the candy buckets that you find in the plaza, and that's how you get this achievement. Wear mini mask. Um, if you don't have the Donald mask or any of the mask from last year, you might have a hard time achieving this one, but you literally just put on a mask to unlock that one. And stockpiling pumpkins. Plant 100 pumpkins, plant and harvest 100 pumpkins. Good money and pumpkins, especially pumpkin puffs. So get those things done. And that's how you unlock some of these other pumpkins that I have here. These are the two that I just received in the... This is the small one and the large one is over here. I don't know if these are new to the game, but I did not have them. So yay, yay for that. And these other pumpkins around here are the ones that you get from the achievements that I mentioned.
Sugar Rush. It comes in three parts. The first part is eating 15 pieces of candy. And that unlocks the Happy Jack-O-Lantern right here. The second part is to get up to 30 pieces of candy and that will unlock the previous jack-o'-lantern right here. And then after eating 45 pieces of candy, you'll unlock this one, the friendly jack-o'-lantern. And then once you unlock them, and you lay them and take them out you can buy more in Scrooges that's how we all have all these pumpkins because that's what they gave us in last year's star path haunted star path cool stuff and I have all this year's stuff this might be where I take my picture again I haven't decided yet but this one's about the outfit Giving the villagers 10 gifts, that unlocks the Mickey pumpkin right here, super cute. When you do the achievement, wear a mask, villainry wears a mask, you can unlock this pumpkin stack right here. I really like the pumpkin stack. And you get, and after completing three course meal, that's where you eat these three different colors of candy, the purple, green, and the red, and the candy buckets that you find around the plaza. That's how you unlock the green bucket, right? And doing the achievement where you wear a mask is how you unlock the little purple one as well. Okay, we'll go to the plaza real quick. And we'll hunt for more candy just in case you haven't noticed these around your valley. It's pretty late. Boom, there's one candy I want candy it's pretty late I feel like to be like do the Halloween stuff but it is Halloween time it is Halloween time there's a purple one I should have one more around here somewhere but I do not see it yet Oops. Oh, there it is. Hey, other me. Oop, there's one. Four. Ah, ah, ah. So yeah, get your candy buckets, eat your candy. Some of those I'm sure you've already probably done, but maybe the candy one you may have not done, especially the one where you eat the three kinds of candy. Because if you're like me, You'll just keep Greetings, neighbor. everything, Goodbye but now. eat at least Do one of each kind of candy <laughs> so that you can complete this achievement. Thank you kindly. Ooh, that purple Hello. shirt is cute. Monsters University. Casual top. Nice. Just Hello. checking the clothing out because we're going to work on our trick-or-treat outfit uh -huh. costume. I was thinking about it because in my last video, I went Diddle through... Um, real quick all the different costumes that I have available that people might want to use in the challenge but then when I was thinking about it Hello. the costumes are only Whoa. one piece so it will only give you one clothing item but you could wear like these wings that I have or horns I don't know what category they're in we'll have to look it up but I do know from checking that if I were to wear my costume that I'm already wearing, doesn't matter if I'm in my very cute forgotten, uh, forgotten lands with my nice Halloween background dressed in my wonderful costume, this still would not meet the Dream Snap standard. I'm even wearing my eye patch, horns, wings, yes, but it's not simple enough, which is kind of ridiculous, but, so we're going to look at other 
option. So if you haven't finished your Haunted Holiday Star Path, you should really finish it. It's not um, that hard. I don't know what you have left, but you should at least try. I've gotten everything in a very short amount of time. So hopefully you knock that out. But for this trick or treat outfit challenge, it's time to get sweet or scary with this Halloween theme challenge. Why not both? Costumes and courage. That's the funny part because as I was just saying, it says costumes and courage, but I can guarantee you most of the costumes are not gonna meet what are the requirements. The requirements are suggested Hall Halloween, obviously, and wondrous, but that won't help you meet the tags. It's bold and simple. So we're going to dive into this right now and see what costume we can come up with bold and simple. As I said before, I'm not very simple, especially when it comes to Halloween and costumes. So let's see what the game has to offer. Simple and bold. Bold and simple? Is that what it says? That's silly. Okay, so these do qualify, but you would still have to wear other pieces with it. Mike backpack, incredible super mask. Can't wear socks with a costume or shoes with a costume. Space jacket, red eye goggles. Hat, <laughs> horns, like the horns with the blue. Um, are the Sully shoes in here? Futuristic jumpsuit. Okay, but you can't wear bracelets with any jumpsuit either. Ralph's overalls, nice. A ball gown. Fancy dress, loves. Okay, I've seen a lot of Ralphs in the dream snaps. My earrings already work. Uh, how about these gloves? Put my earrings back on. That was an accident. Boots. Am I gonna do Ralph with horns though? Headphones. Hologram necklace. You can't wear both. Oh, I can wear both. Okay, Donald's hat, I could be Donald. It looks very tall. Racing pants, uh, could be a pilot. Race car driver. Fedora. Pirate again. I'm sure I see some pirate again stuff going on. Beast horns, pirate hat. Sharp heels. Okay, I guess there's a lot of stuff, but a lot of the costumes that I like, especially the ones I've purchased, aren't covered in this. They're not. So let's try to do just simple. Put on some regular glasses. Some Mickey ears, a flannel, ball gown, could be like what, a tourist, <laughs> sweaters, wings, farmer, you could be a farmer, or a scarecrow, you could do a scarecrow with the skeleton makeup? That would be nice. You can do Donald and pose with Donald Duck. That would be nice. You could wear Wally stuff and pose with Wally. Like this aviator stuff right here with that pilot's jacket. Skeleton onesie. One of my favorites. That could be a spooky, spooky skeleton. And do the skeleton. Uh face paint, stitch, you'd be stitch, and pose with stitch, 
don't know if I recommend being Santa or Mrs. Claus, but why not? Hmm. Get creative. Those glasses remind me of Harry Potter. There's the Donald Duck mask. That counts for wearing a mask. Earrings. There's a lot of stuff if you want to just make something. But it is an outfit challenge. You could definitely do a princess and pose with one of the princesses. I really feel like if you pose with a character, it can increase your dream snaps. I just feel like it's a good move. Good move. Moana. There's the slippers I was looking for earlier. Cat ears. You could be a cat. Pose with one of the lions, Simba, Scar, Nala, or get more than one in a picture. You could do something wintry and pose in a winter scene with frozen characters with Kristoff, Anna, or Elsa. Pose in front of or in uh, Elsa's house, dressed up like an ice princess with her, or dressed up as like her partner or friend wearing like wintry clothing you know winter is coming let's see what else Donald would be cute I saw someone dressed up as Donald for the pirate outfit and it was cute you could be a sheriff and pose with Woody cute you could be a fisherman and pose with Goofy nice You could be the beast and pose with the beast or pose with Belle. Cute stuff. You could dress up like, what, like a doll and pose with Woody. You can dress up like a chef and pose with Remy. You could pose at Remy's restaurant or in your kitchen build. If you still have your kitchen build from the previous Dreamy Kitchen Dream Snaps, you could dress up like a villain, villainy princess, and pose with Ursula or Mother Gothel. I guess there's a lot of different stuff that could be done, but the costumes are obviously not coming up in this stuff at all. I do like the cowboy. It would be cute to do chef. I do have a nice kitchen already built. Uh, you could pose with Woody in Woody's house or in front of Woody's house would be nice. Or in front of your fall scene if you still have your fall, uh, fun with fall dream snap set up. Nice. I guess there's actually more creative stuff that could be done than to just wear one of the costumes. Let's go ahead and do some bold. Astronaut. You can dress up as an astronaut. You can be Buzz or pose with Buzz or pose with Woody. Cute. You could be the Forgotten. You could be a race car driver. Wizard. You could be a wizard and pose with Merlin. That's cute. Wear a scar jacket, pose with one of the lions. You could be like Cleopatra. Nice. There's the rest of the astronaut stuff. Yes. We're out of this world, man. You could do Wally. You could do Dapper Look. Hmm cute funky mermaid look mischievous villain look Ooh. let's see now it's like I almost don't even know what I'm gonna do because opportunities there's actually a lot more stuff going on you can be like a soldier or something. I still think it'd be cute to be Donald. Race car driver. An ice princess. A pirate. 
think it'd be cute to do something with Wally. That's a good one. The new candlestick disguise. Ursula. Jack Skellington, but it's not enough. But <laughs> if I wear my Jack Skellington with these icy wings and these goggles. Is that going to qualify? Is this the look that I'm going for? I don't know. Let's see. There we have it. <laughs> huh. Well, I guess I can just mix it up some. I might be able to do my Jack Skellington as I originally planned, but with something different, something different to it. Or I could do Sally because I don't, well the Sally dress didn't show up as simple or bold, but at least the majority of the costumes did come up, but it might be a little hard to style them wearing random stuff like this. I don't know if I want to wear the visor glasses. I like the horns instead of a hat. Can't wear a bracelet, not with a costume. Earrings. Earrings aren't that visible. Can't wear a necklace. Yeah. I was like, you cannot wear a necklace. Oops. Wings. These wings are better. Cannot wear rings. Gloves are out of the picture. I could wear my mask. Cat ears. Oh, I'm wearing the socks. That's good. And let's see. I can wear a candy cane. I can wear, you can wear a backpack. But I'd rather wear wings I believe cannot wear a necklace don't put the necklace on a fedora you can wear a fedora cannot wear uh, shoes shoes will take it off don't want to wear any goggles can't wear shoes just hat and wings, mask, and earrings. Does that qualify? Hey, fairy godmother. Smile. Cheese. Okay. Huh. That qualifies. And I like my costume. And I like my background. But I might do something different because this is one I already use for my dream snaps but it's really pretty and I really like it and I guess I can wear my costume after all I just can't wear it as I originally had it and there's actually a lot more creative things that people can do I'm really excited about this one I was a little weirded out that they did like a Beauty and the Beast bedroom challenge in the middle of spooky season like okay weird pirates i'm okay with pirates i give pirates a pass but it is halloween and i really want to do nightmare before christmas i might improve my scene a little and decide to get some characters involved but yeah let me know what are you gonna do for your halloween scene i really like this challenge i thought it would be hard to come up with a costume that wasn't one of the pre-selected full costumes but it's not that bad it's not that hard hopefully you come up with something cute or maybe you got an idea just from discovering searching through everything they had there so i'm really excited really excited about this one to see the voting and to finalize what i'm actually going to do for my picture as always, I had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's me, Miss Goldcrusher. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.